YouTuber Camelot made a very interesting criticism to certain right-wing activists, and I thought that I would present it on my main channel because I do believe he has a legitimate point. So you have this person going online and saying that he has been clear of pornography for eight months. Best decision he ever made. You know, good for him. I mean, it was something in his life that was affecting him, and he managed to push on through, and now he is a better person because of it. However, the problem begins why he says that should ban porn worldwide, right? So, like, because this individual lacks the self-control, and, and he had to make an effort in order to eliminate it, now the government should make sure that nobody has access to it, right? Uh, it, it's kind of like if a person has a food addiction... Uh, then the government should now regulate food, should put food rationing for everybody. Like, this is the mindset. And unfortunately, it's not this person in particular. I have seen many right-wing commentators making the similar argument. Like, because they can't have like, the virtue, the, the strength of character to prevent themselves from doing something harmful to them, then the government needs to step in. And other people who do have the possibility of regulating that activity... Uh, should suffer. So Camelot comes up and says, using this logic, we should ban all drugs, all media, all video games, all television and movies, all social media, all races, all animals, all liquids, and anything else that can be used in excess. And of course, you know, like, some people come up, other activists, and say that drugs and video games probably should be banned. Banning social media for anyone under 21 pro probably would help too. And this should be banned, that should be banned. And I'm thinking, like, these people are wondering why the young generation flocks to Andrew Tate. Because Andrew Tate doesn't want to ban things. Like, he's like, okay, well, what are the kids into anime? All right. So now he makes pictures of himself with anime girls and cars. And this motherfucker is so popular with the youth that when he got arrested in my country, there were people in Greece going out on the streets in order to protest for him. I, I don't think like any other right-wing activist would have like a similar popularity. Like there's probably very few that would. But like clearly he is doing something correct. And the thing that he is doing correct is that he understands that entertainment should exist. And you know, like these people are talking about banning porn, but it extends to anime, it extends to social media. Like it, literally anything that they find to be distracting from the cause should be banned. And the problem with this is that when you look at how the left does it, the left doesn't ban things, it subverts them. So, for example, uh, there was the previous video that I made where a woman was abhorred that her son wants to go to the gym. And because of that, she blames the Barbie movie. She blames the fact that Ken in the Barbie movie is shirtless and he has good pecs. And it's sending the negative message to her son. Uh, and that is to hit the gym. Right now... She doesn't want to ban the Barbie movie. What she wants is that in the sequel, we have fat Kens, we have disabled Kens, we have various Kens that show different body types so that her son can feel comfortable. In other words, she wants to subvert the movie. Now, when it comes to right-wingers, they don't want to subvert, they want to ban. Like, if I was a right-winger and I was like the family of Jesus type, instead of banning anime, you could literally have, like, very cute, and adorable anime girls that wouldn't be sexualized, but you could dress them up as nuns, and you can have them say positive messages, wholesome messages about Christianity or about like whatever right-wing causes you have. Unironically, I want to say, I learned more about right-wing ideology and right-wing values from Naruto and My Hero Academia than I have learned from any of these right-wing activists and commentators. Because... Entertainment has the power of transmitting messages. And the left understands this. And this is why the left owes the monopoly on entertainment. And the right is on the losing battle. Because they don't even want to engage with it. Like, they just want to ban, ban, ban. And honestly, like, if you look at human history, it's traditional what conservatives have done. It's like, someone comes up, let's translate the Bible. Oh, no, no, that's horrible. We should never. Uh, artists come up, it's like, let's have the pictures of saints and Jesus. No, 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 that's horrible. We should never. They are shaking the fist at the radio while the television becomes a thing. They, they are abhorred at the television while the internet becomes a thing. They do not want to adapt. 
and, and they believe that by banning things and by refusing to adapt, you're going to win the culture war. Now, again, regarding pornography, I understand the, the, the point. But that's how they want to get their foot in the door. That's how they get to say, all right, well, let's, re let, let's allow the government to regulate porn. And then when it, it's a different conversation and it's like lewdness in video games, then they, the government can say, well, we're already regulating porn, so why can't we regulate this as well? I refuse to allow them to have their foot in the door. I believe in good parenting. A parent should make sure that their children do not have access to social media under the age of 18 or 14 or whatever the parent decides. And the parent should monitor what the child does at the computer. Now, what's interesting is that I have been served with a counter argument. And it was like, well, why should society, I love it, why should society fail the children of bad parents? So, right, you're, you're basically saying that because Jimmy has bad parents, I as an adult should suffer. Right? Like, I as an adult should have the government step in and regulate my entertainment because Jimmy happens to have bad parents. Well, I'm sorry. You know, like, we need to make compromises. How about Jimmy's parents get punished? How about that? Like, if you're a bad parent, you should be punished for child abuse. Why would you want the government to regulate these things? And again, it's like Camelot says. It's, we need to ban video games. We need to ban TV and movies. We need to ban social media. And I see, like, this right-wing thought spreading across the more fringes areas of the internet it's unappealing as fuck why would you want to join an ideology that just doesn't allow for any type of entertainment and, and you know it all ends with like batting anime i think like that's the litmus test the moment you want to bad anime you lost the plot i mean what what do you want people to do like go watch netflix movies instead go watch hollywood and they will say well that's a straw man no it's fucking not i'm literally asking how can a straw man be a question like, what do you want people to do for entertainment? Usually they will say something like, well, go outside. It's like, okay, but like people uh, don't want to regress to the medieval age where the only fun that can be had is by going outside. Like, sure, people should go outside and exercise. But when they come home, what should they do? Like, you know, your body is tired. You want to relax. What do you want to do? Read a book. Well, I got news for you. You know, like conservatives from the old days, they, they also didn't like certain books and they want those to be bad too. Um, yeah, no, but my point is, you catch more flies with honey than with vinegar, right? So if you go online and you have like this mentality, what's bad for me is bad for you. If I can't uh, regulate something for myself, then neither can you. I think it's a bad way of thinking. I don't think you're going to attract the younger generation. And then you're going Pikachu face when you look at Andrew Tate having flocks of youth going to him. And by the way, I do believe that while Andrew Tate is pointing out a couple of problems, his solutions are bad. Like, his solutions are, if you're a man, you need to have a, as many women as possible flocking around you and display your wealth and to start an OnlyFans group. It's like, no, sorry, my bad. No, that, that's, not, that's not a wholesome message. But anyway, right, let me know what you guys think, and as usual, I will see you in the comment section. Take care.